All right, so let's talk about how to set the timer on a Watts 500-800. Um, the process is the same for the Grundfos 59-59-16, um, so you can follow the same steps. All right, so we've got our unit installed here. Um, this is the timer unit. First, we're gonna take off the cap, this clear plastic cover, or else you won't be able to do much. All right, the very first step is you have to tell the timer what time it currently is so it knows when to be on and when to be off. So you have to set the internal clock of the system. The way you do that is by rotating this, this piece right here. You don't actually spin the dial, you move this piece until this arrow right here reaches the appropriate time. So right now you can see it's about 2.30 right now in the afternoon. Um, this is a 24 hour dial so it doesn't circle twice in one day, it's just once in one day. Uh, the left half on, as far as this orientation, is PM. So we can see the PM marker right here. So everything from this 12 all the way down here is PM, and then everything here all the way over here is gonna be AM. So we set the current time. So right now it's 2.30 PM, looks like we're good. All right, the next step is to set the on or off operating hours of the unit. Now there are a couple ways you can do this. Um, up here we've got three selections. We have on, we have timer, and we have off. On will make sure that this pump runs 24 hours per day. Um, so it's always on. Timer lets you set these timing pins so it's only on or off when you want it to be. And then off is gonna be off um, always and your pump's gonna act, um, or your water system will act as if you don't have this unit. Water's still gonna flow through, through your pipes, um, you just won't have this unit itself um, adding to that. So, we have the timer selected, now let's talk about how to set the on and off hours. The way this system works is we've got a series of pins here, these white pins, you can push them in towards the middle, or you can push them out towards the outside. If you push them in towards the middle, it's off, and it tells you that right here. So if you push it in, it's an off hour, and if you push it towards the outside, it's an on hour. Um, every single one of these little switches is 15 minutes, so there are four of them per hour. Um, so let's look at what we have set up here. The way my pump is set up is I am on from, it looks like 6 a.m., so between the five and the seven, we've got six, 6 a.m. I'm on all the way until 10 p.m. Um, so my pump is gonna be active, uh, or it's gonna, it's gonna provide hot water for those hours. From 6 a.m., I go all the way 6 a.m., all the way to noon, this is noon up here, and then through the p.m. hours all the way down here till 10 p.m. Um, you can set this up any way you want. It doesn't have to be one continuous on cycle. It could be just on in the morning and then just on at night when you get home from work. Um, I happen to work from home, so I keep mine on throughout the day um, in case I wanna use the, the water while I'm home during those hours. Um, I hope that clears things up for you guys. I know it can be a little bit confusing, um, but that's how you do it. Um, I've also got some